should be aware of your father's health situation. Your father's BP rose to the highest level just because of you. I think you have not been fair with that girl. And I propose you go and apologize to her. No way. What for? How about you, Eka? <laughs> wow. That must make me feel like a queen. No man has ever treated me like this before. This love that you see right here, it's a brand new love. It's yours. And let me remind you, my father is watching me. He even said I shouldn't tell you. <laughs> no problem. I will surprise him your own day. Rubbish. Come like that, I'm always happy because you make my day. Oh, wow. And I'm, so I, I'm going to take you to places you can't imagine. I have to give you VIP treatment. Oh, really? Okay, VIP treatment, VIP flight, VIP restaurant, anything you oh, touch. Wow. You I'm so it, glad. It, it's, not, it's not easy to date a minister, okay? Mm -hmm. Because when you date a minister, all what you touch, you own. Supermarkets, so just oh. name it and you get it, okay? You see, anytime you come around me, Nothing to do with work because when I see you, I'm very happy. Oh, it's excellent. You have to get used to because you know that it's not start working yet. So the wall is in your pocket. But I'm going to abandon this office because of me. <laughs> Good day, Daddy. Have you finished with the Golden Fingers contract I gave you? No, sir, but almost. When I get back to my desk, I'll be through in no time. Okay, what about the feasibility studies on the uh, Rainbow contract? It's here, sir. Cancel all my appointments today, eh? Now we should be there for tomorrow, 4 p.m. All right? Okay, sir. Okay. Now you're man. Hey, look who is here. The biggest contractor in town. Hi, hey, chairman. You're looking good. Thank you. Sit down, sit down, please. Okay. Fanny, uh, you go back to your desk. I'll call you back later. Okay. <sighs> so when did you come back from Madrid? Just yesterday. Ah, that's okay. Welcome. Thank you. How did it go? Everything went according to plan. You know the Europeans like doing business with straight and trustworthy people like us. <laughs> That's good news for us. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, I hope you brought home some fine Spanish wines. Yes, there's enough Spanish wine for us to serve. Really? <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. I'm happy to hear it. Uh, <laughs> Mercy! Yes, ma'am. Please come. I want you to prepare fruit salad for His Excellency. He will be coming back home shortly, so you can just go start doing it now. So how is your father? Fine, thank God. And you? I'm fine. Except for the fact that I don't know what else to do to change this minister's bad behavior. Calm down. 
Do you want to have high blood pressure because of next time? You know you still have a life to live. Huh? I know. It is just that you don't understand. Nestor is our only son, and we are looking forward for him to take over the family business when we must have gone on retirement. You know he's still a child. Maybe he'll grow up someday. Grow up someday, he said. And when will that day come? Do you know that his father has started accusing me of his waywardness? Oh, this is serious. Yeah. You mean His Excellency is already preaching hell? He is. Don't bother. You know men, when a child is good, he is theirs. When things start going wrong, it belongs to us. Well, we should keep on talking to him. Do you know who I met today? Miss Billy's daughter, the one who had an accident. What are you doing here? They said you are supposed to be in school. Well, Daddy, I'm done with my classes for today. Why can't you wait for me at home and you're batching me in the office? Come on, Daddy. Is it a crime to visit my lovely daddy in his office? I didn't say so, Lizette. Anyways, I need some money. My ATM card is missing and I need money urgently. God, Lizette, how much money are we talking about? Just 300000 and I'm out of here. Lizette, you can see I'm a very busy man. My office is full of work. So, let me do something for you. Now, this is 500,000. You go and get some fun, okay? Oh, Daddy. You can always come with your Daddy. Daddy, you're the best, best mm, Daddy in the whole world. You deserve, world. You deserve world. the best as my daughter, mm, okay? Thank you, you Daddy. Okay, pass some fun. Don't mind her. She's my daughter. Okay, She's so fond of me. You. She's jealous of me like her mother. So, where do we have our supper? She does, Carlos. She does, Carlos. I will do this for her. Uh, so, how's your family? Oh, they are okay. I met everybody healthy. Everybody's fine. Hey, by the way, I was told her daughter had a terrible accident. Yeah, that's true. We've had it really hot around here for a while now. Um, it's, it's a miracle that she didn't die or sustain any serious injuries. Was that bad? Mm -hmm. oh, what a pity. By the way, how is she now? She's recovering by the day. So that child would have died just like that. But you have to talk to her about this rough driving around. Because next time she might not be so fortunate. You're right. Well, I've tried to talk some sense into her brains, but you know kids. This children will not kill us. By the way, are you suspecting any foul play? Not any for now. I just believe it was her carelessness. Carelessness, yes, but one cannot be so sure. You know what I'm talking about? Remember, there are wolves around. Yeah, you may be right. I have thought along those lines as well, but if that's the case, who might want to kill my daughter? You see, my friend, if they cannot get you, they will get your children. And that will pain you even more. You have to be aware. I get your point. Nice thing you again after. Yeah. I have a present for you. What is that? That coat you saw in the catalog. Ah, you. <laughs> Very true friend. <laughs> what is so, it? Uh, you have it there? In the car. In the car? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. I have, oh, an, I have, I have something for you as well, but that's for the safety. evening. In the clubhouse in the evening. Yes, thank you. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. So she's out of hospital. Where did you see her? Well, I saw her around Billy's supermarket, riding in a new car. So she's already driving a new car. Next time, she's not going to be that lucky. I hate that family with passion. Since they have decided to be challenging us, we shall see in this town. We shall see. I wish she would have died in that accident. Amen. The way she looked at me, as if I was a piece of rock. Uh, me, you. Oh. <laughs> uh -uh. 
So because he's, she's out of hospital, driving a new car. Okay, like you said, this town is no good container. We shall see. We shall see. Larry, all women are devils. So it's now you're realizing it. And I used to tell you, you laughed at me because you were in love. Look, my friend. If you have been asked for a devil and see your mom, hand her over. All women are devils. Larry, you know I loved this girl. I loved Mara with all my heart and all my soul. Next time, we will give your heart and your soul. It is said, one was beaten, twice shy. I, I don't even know what to do with this Marian of a girl. What do, I do? what do I do with her? Nothing. What do you want to do? Just be here if nothing happened. It's no event. Listen, there are thousands of beautiful girls out there, far better off than Marion. I think that was the same girl. The same girl who broke my head. You remember, right? She broke my head. But I forgive her, friend. I forgive her. And the reason why I forgive her is just because of love. Frankie, let's go that girl. If you do something funny, you are inviting the police. And that will lead to a prison cell. Remember, we are poor. <sighs> Maria, why? Maria, why? Thank you. Be a man. Such is life. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. Merci. Yes, right, Francis. You can't, sir. Get me lizard. Show them your teeth. Ah, come for me. My beautiful angel. Yes, what is your brother? He went out, he's not at the back. Okay. And your mom? She's inside sleeping. Sleeping. Down, let's have a chat. <laughs> okay, so what about? Come in, thank you. Yeah, What's up? Yeah. Long last time. Yeah, long time. So, what can I offer you? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. So, what do I always miss? Vicky, if I tell you I'm a happy man, then I'm lying to you. No, things are not the same anymore between Marion and I. Marion is cheating on me. Marion is cheating on me. She's seeing some other guy. Really? Are you sure? Hello? Mm -hmm. How do I look? Mm -mm. You look like what a Teresa in her 80s. Turn that fire in your mouth. How can I look like her at 80? <laughs> Baby, can't you be serious? <laughs> okay. You look like a nightingale, sweetheart. You're now talking. 
I'm a beauty queen, you know. Mm. That reminds me. Have you seen Roy again? What for? Him. That's the last person I want to see on this earth. Florence. Are you sure? Remember, I know you too well. For the first day. Roy's chapter is closed. I mean, sealed. Come on. I almost died for a guy who doesn't even care about me. That was the peak. Of course. I should have known only a scam like you can do such a thing. Drink till you call me a scam. No trouble. But you know what you are? You are a coward. A damn fine coward. That's what you are. Next time you am a coward, huh? You see, just because some cats have got stripes does not make them tigers. I see you are trying me. Mm -hmm. I can bark. I can bite. And I can't stink. Breeze Belay, you're just a venomless viper. Just because a butterfly has wings, he calls himself a bird. But let me tell you something. I will show you who runs the streets of this town today. So, eh? Watch me. Yeah. Watch me. About what happened in my office yesterday. Hmm. I saw nothing. That I saw nothing. That's my angel. So what do I always say with you? Just increase my allowance. I have something added to that. Dad, an iPhone 6, please. You deserve it. Now you get inside. Oh, thank you. I love it. <laughs> Life continues. Without certain Dibiki, I mean, I saw Mario with my own two eyes. Since then, I've been calling and calling and calling Mary. She's not even picking. So I said, let me come over and, and talk to you. You know, I know you, you can talk to her. You can fix this up. Picky, I'm doing things for Marion. You know, you know, I love Marion. You know what? Unfortunately, she's not here right now. But I will try to talk to her and find out what's going on. Then get back to you. I knew that I could count on you. I'll try my best. Yeah, and... Uh, I'm really sorry for having disturbed you. I, if you don't mind, I would just uh, I'll take my leave now. It's okay. Counting on you. Wow. Thank God my friend has gotten up from her slumber. Some guys can really be mad, you know. I, Leslie, I can't take shit from any boy. Who born dog? I hope he will not come here and start preaching that his ugly love for you again. Where? How? To whom? I've told you. Roy's chapter is closed. A closed book. Let him go and continue testing the waters. As for me, this lover you see right here is a brand new one. A love it full of life and ambition. Capish? Mommy, she don't do one. Well. At least you graduated from the bondage of that lunatic. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, just the thought of Roy. It's so pathetic. So please, let's just change the topic. Tell me something nice, something different. I'm now happy, my dear. You don't know how happy you've made me. Ah, I was so mad at myself when I saw you running after that stupid boyfriend of yours. Well, it's all over now. We're moving on. Please, let me see that. Go! <laughs> 
nobody runs the streets. You've got God. I've got one thing. Now let's see whose trigger is flexible. You know, you've just drawn the battle line and it's going to go down. You have been warned. Next time, this trigger is going to go off. Trust me. Move this shit. Let me ride my machine. Let's come back. My dear Frankie, love is not all we need. Is love going to buy my toiletries, buy my clothing, or put food on my table? So you see, we need more than love, and that you can't afford. Don't you think it's time for you to settle down? At your age, I was already married to your father, and I already had you. All oh, my friends are already married or about to. Thank you. 